even get to God. Refrigerated drinks. There are so many benefits to a refrigerated rink. With a chiller system, you get the good days. Iron Sleek will help you and show you how to build a refrigerated rink in your own backyard. How does a refrigerated rink work? It's pretty simple. You build a watertight containment and then within the containment you place ice rink mats. The ice rink mats are connected to two tubes which supply and return glycol to and from a chiller that brings the temperature down well under the freezing point of water. When considering your refrigerator rink, choose a spot that can be easily excavated so that the surface is level. Also, keep in mind that you'll have to bring power to supply the chiller. Your site is ready, your chiller is in place, it's time to build your refrigerated rink. With iron sleek polysteel boards, it's a piece of cake to build your frame. The following pictures basically show it all. You build your rectangle, you leave the corner four feet shy so that you can put in your rink round. On the header box side, be sure to leave four feet for your rink round and at least two feet for the supply and return header pipes. Some energy could be lost into the ground so insulation boards are an option. With the frame built, it's time to stage the ice rink mats and to unroll the liner. With the liner fully stretched and open, it's so easy to unroll the ice rink mats. Start on the header box end and unroll all the way to the back end of the rink. Now with your ice rink mats unrolled, your header pipe should be connected to your ice rink mats. So simple. Male into female and then push down the two levers. All set. Do that for the entire length of the manifold. The system is truly plug and play. Even with the supply and return. Male into female. Push down the levers, lock down. Now with all connections made, it's time to fill the fill tank. 50% glycol solution usually gets the job done. To bleed the glycol water solution into the ice rink mats, first make sure the cooling is on off and then turn the toggle switch for the pump from off to handle. When the reservoir tank starts to gargle, turn the pump back to off. Refill the tank. Repeat until the reservoir tank does not gargle. Your ring kit will come with these cool brackets that will slip right between the ice rink mat tubes. You'll use this bracket to build the front end of the header box where you can then mount your iron sleek boards. Well, everything's connected. Time to turn on the chiller and start bringing down the glycol temperature so we can soon make ice. What are you doing there, Ange? Well, it's 50 degrees and we're making ice. This is amazing. <laughs>